Greetings backers and thank you once again. I'm making this video to show you what your tiles will look like, your printed reward, as well as this earlier prototype that where the only difference is the actual box design slight changes that I made with the new one, which I displayed in the video. But in addition to this giveaway of all the tiles that are already planned to be released, as well as the new updated spiral tile, as that's what I was waiting for. I, I just made an order for that to make sure that those cuts are correct. So I have that tile in another box here. You will receive that new spiral tile, as well as the old edition of that spiral tile, in addition to the digital stretch goal of the big new tile that was only added as a digital stretch goal. I did also print that out as that wasn't much of an additional cost for testing that spiral tile. So you will get both versions of the spiral tile, all with the linen texture update, in addition to the large stretch goal digital only tile, but printed here, you will see that soon. So if you haven't yet, if you want to get this for free or send it to a friend, whichever, simply go to my new Kickstarter account or new Kickstarter project that I will be running here or launching very soon and just leave a comment there. It can be anything. Just go there. The link's right here. Leave a comment there. I will put all the names into a draw and I will probably film that in a video, screen capture that in a kind of circle draw thing and choose the winner like so and have this shipped to them. This full box set of the first version of the box, but all the tiles look pretty much exactly the same as all the new prints will be to all backers. As far as this box goes, I did make a video earlier. You can find it in the updates. It's on YouTube. Uh, talking about where I updated the box and why and well what I did. So one of the things that I did do, the design is basically the same. The caves was moved down here. This text was moved here. Possibly, I don't remember if I did some size changes on that. The side text here was brightened so that it sticks out more with the black background. The red color was changed here. Some positioning was changed and numbers were updated here and then the major changes were on the back which i was not happy about as everything seemed to have printed out just fine but the treetops there were more layers to the colors there showing the dimensions and the perspective of the trees better and when this first prototype printed it looked a bit flat there so i did change that up so that should look better in with the new boxes. Uh, I also added some more artistic things out on there as well as uh, some items that you can find on this little map. There's the main entrance that you can play along with going into the caves underground and kind of a secret entrance there that I made even more kind of secret with the updated version and just change some stuff here, make this tree stump look more like a tree stump uh, looking face down on that cross section of it. So that has been updated and also some overall brightness and shading differences overall that you will notice as well. So that has been updated, but now going into the tiles, this is what everything's going to look like. Oh, and by the way, just want to be clear about this. When the box arrived, there were little physical disruptions like this here. I don't know how much of this occurred more. Uh, in my ownership, but I believe most of it, if not all of it, was pretty much in the shipping. But overall, the box was undamaged and delivered nicely. It was delivered and manufactured by the same company, which is the game's crafter. I noticed that there was a little bit of a rip here as well. I don't know if that occurred later. So just something, just an FYI for you guys that will be receiving these, this product. So when you open the box, this is what it looks like inside. This is the spiral tile we have been talking about. It has been updated so that this ground here connects so that there's no cave or wall separating it here. I've shown that artwork update in a previous update, so you will see that. And I have that tile. That's what I've been waiting for to print. I will be sending out these orders within... I'm not sure when you're going to be seeing this, but I will be submitting the order for these rewards to be shipped. This weekend, today, at the time of filming this, it is April 1st, so I will be shipping or sending out the order this weekend. Hopefully within two months, everybody should have their tiles. And this is the type of box it is. This is connected. You can always remove this or cut this off so that this land piece touches the table if you like, but that's the design of it. So I will show you this spiral tile, the old version, which you won't be getting unless you win this uh, specific set. I will be showing you the updated one at the end, as I mentioned. So 
I already removed some of these earlier to test them and check them out. I haven't removed all the tiles, but basically it's as so. Simply punch them out. You can always sand little bits off if, you, if you're not happy with the just tiny little remnants of the chipboard sticking out. And then you can turn it over and you have the other side with the spiral tile. The spiral tile was the most risky of prints. Hence, I reran the test print once I updated it in here because the design goes almost completely to the edge. It goes a little beyond the red line that you're not supposed to pass as far as your design being printed, but they've printed the new one and this one has printed perfectly. So it's very likely that you might rip the, uh, the remnants, the leftovers of the punch out. Whoever will receive this set, I will try to place these tiles back into these forms as best I can uh, just for presentation and so you get a nicer product. So there you go and there's the other side, the adventurer side and this is the part that will be connected so I will be putting that back in these. Again usually these are thrown away or you can save them if you want to resell your tiles. And again the, the adventurer side of this one. I'm not going to be pulling out all of them as whoever wins this I don't want all of them to just arrive loose. I'm sure it'll be nicer for the winner of this set to be able to punch out their own tiles or some of them as well. Also mentioned more so, I think when I first ran the, this Kickstarter, this these are laser cut. So you will get a little bit of remnants of ashes on your fingers. So what I recommend is taking a wet, a somewhat of a moist, maybe not wet towel, but a moist towel and running it across everything. You'll even smell the suit, the the burn that occurred when these tiles when these tiles were cut out. So here we have the looks like the adventure side. This one's the adventure side, adventure side. Turn these over in the small tile right there. Turn these over. And I did punch these out already. And we have the plain side on the other side there. So I'm just gonna be showing all these uh sheets before I jump into the latest print te uh, test print that I that I received. So here are the other ones. I'll probably punch out one or two more just so you can see how easily they punch out. And nothing arrived, which I was very happy with because it was my first time doing the cuts and everything in Illustrator. And when these tiles arrived, none of them just fell out like that. Everything required punching and nothing required too much force or punching to where something ripped. So I was very very pleased with that. Overall colors came out wonderfully in my opinion. I did raise the contrast quite high and as you can see this is the rest of the box. They filled it with this. This is how they should arrive unless something changed. These prototypes I received over a year ago, two years maybe during the pandemic. They will arrive like so. So therefore if you got two sets of these tiles and one box they should fit just fine into this box, as you can see, that uh, it hasn't even been filled halfway with this one set. So this box should be able to handle a lot more than this just one set of tiles, as you can see here. So let's punch out a couple more tiles. Let's do this one. There you go. You can hear that satisfying punch out sound. And there you have it. Remember the flat, it's not an entrance, the flat, side for the secret entrance here. This tile only has a secret entrance or an optional entrance which is under the water here. Here's the plain side and hence it has the flat edge here. And let's pop out one more tile. Let's go to the previous sheet and punch out this big boy here. I don't think it matters too much from which side you approach these. These uh, pages are identical on both sides. So there we go punching out smoothly. I can punch out this one without disturbing this tile. That's how securely they are placed inside. Overall, it was a pretty interesting process of making the cut lines and all that and where you want the tiny little spaces that will keep these secure within the chipboards. So that's that. This is the other one. This is kind of the spider layer. Again, you're going to want to wipe these down. Here's the adventure side. Again, we have the flat side for the main entrance and the optional entrance or exit over here with the flat side. Basically, it also reminds you of where there is an optional 
exit or entrance that you may have not noticed in the artwork. Uh, those flat sides do that, and plus, you don't have to necessarily always follow that. You can always align another tile and make your own secret entrances and exits. Here's the plain side, but without the spider web, you can more clearly see the exit or entrance here, You can, but it can still be clearly very optional. It's up to the DM. All right, done with that. That's the main core set. Now let's take a look at the updated spiral tile. Here's the box of how it arrived. So I'm assuming that the new sets will arrive in this kind of box. Again, filled with paper. Let's take a look at these. And I just realized I forgot to put the linen printing on it. I'll have to double check if I forgot that or if that's their mistake. But it doesn't have the linen texture. This has the regular glossy texture, which actually some people prefer. So now you have that option. You have the, you will get with this contest set alone, you will get the first spiral set and this one where this is connected. And I added some more artwork. So this is the plain side. So you will get two pieces of these as I did include this one as well. So you will get two of those and two variations of the spiral. And the new artwork that I added here was a sort of a, uh, like an ice or a crystal chamber that when you kind of look inside, you can see a body, maybe a human body, maybe something else within that ice structure. Maybe a spell hit the wall and something or someone got stuck in it. Whatever you want to imagine, there's enough there to help guide you along your story, your lore, your adventure. So there you have it. Let's see how this one pops out. Again, I don't want the next person to receive these. You know what? Actually, I'm not going to pop them out. I'm pretty confident that these are fine. I just want the winner to pop these out themselves and keep these as they wish, the, the remnants of these. But as you can see, they come out pretty easily. A little bit of pressure and you will get them out, but they don't fall out just like that. And the greatest part of all this, possibly the best part of all this, this little contest is only this one person that will receive this set will receive this tile that was only available as a digital stretch goal, but I did additionally print that just for this test run because it wasn't that much of an extra cost to do that. So there you go. The large tile. This is the adventure side and the plain side. We got entrance here, secret entrance here, entrance here, entrance, entrance, possible secret entrance right there and possibly secret entrance right there. So that's four optional entrances or exits on this tile. So there you have it. This is what you will get if you just go to the link and comment anything. I will have the ship to you. Once again, the order for these printed rewards will be sent out tomorrow, something like that, in my time, which will be during the weekend of April 2nd. So I will send out those orders and hopefully within a month and a half or two months, you will be getting your tiles. I will be looking for the winner of these because I want to get that new Kickstarter started for my digital STLs. I'm doing a trophy set for trophy heads because you know you gotta show off your winning kills. Your, you need that respect for your killing blow. So I made an STL set, a 3D printable set of six monster heads that have flat backs to them so they can be mounted onto a plaque, a trophy plaque that is included in the set. So you can print that out. And as you kill the leader of the orcs, the leader of the goblins, Whatever it is, there's even a little space under that plaque where you can use your paintbrush to, to write the names of the notable monsters that you've killed with your D&D character or your character of any other RPG relevant to monsters and fantasy game. So that's what my next Kickstarter will be. I want to launch that as soon as possible. So I'm going to send out the order for these. I will send this out tomorrow and I will set a date probably let's say April 5th, maybe mid next week, I will launch the next Kickstarter for those 3D printable files for the trophy, a trophy plaque for the monster heads that you have, of the monsters that you have defeated. That will be going next week. So before I launch that, I will be announcing the winner of this first run of the tiles, as well as these 
additional two pages to the first run. So I will be announcing that and up making an update with the video right before I launch the next Kickstarter on the new account. So remember, it's a whole different account than this one. It's going to be dedicated to 3D printable files. Please check it out. If you know how to follow the account or follow along the project, click it on there if you can, or just save the page as a tab on your browser. But either way, leave a comment on that preview page. Nobody can see that page yet. You can only access it through the link right here. Leave a comment and you will be in the draw for this. You will see your name in a little circular thing that I spin. It's on a website. I'm going to film everything and I'm going to spin that wheel and whoever's name it drops on will win this first edition of the Adventurers RPG Tile Set Caves. And in that video, I will also choose a second winner in case the first winner for some reason changes their mind or that first contestant does not answer for a week or so. Then I will contact that second contestant. Lastly, thank you again for supporting this. I look forward to seeing your names in the comments and such in the future Kickstarters that I run on the new account, on the Monster Ride account, and everybody have a wonderful week out there and go have some adventurous fun in your gaming.